So today we're here checking out a reforestation site. It's uh, with the help of CONAFOR, a government agency. They're helping out the Ajito of El Carmen. Um, there's about 400 people that live there and about 28 people are in charge of the Ajito. So in all of this area you can see that there's been massive erosion. This was all rock before. And in different parts of the site, this one's a 38 hectare site and the other site nearby has 26 hectares. Uh, they planted uh, like 1,100 trees per hectare, and that was after they sculpted the land a little bit to keep the water from flowing downhill as quickly. They put in some check dams over here. So the project started in 2011, but the planting has taken years to get in. So a lot of them were put in in 2012 and 2013, 14. So now you've got a lot of pine trees that are about two meters tall. Um, you still got some maguey's in here as well. We're starting to see more of the native plants growing in here. Uh, you know, of course, birds are going to come and drop off seeds and things. The problem is before it all had cows, and cows are going to compact the land, they're going to eat all the vegetation and turn it into a wasteland. Uh, so, so all these gullies, um, the, 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 the land was just flowing downward, all eroding, and then it fills in the lake. So slowly this land is going to restore. Each tree that, uh, that grows here is then going to be dropping more leaves and organic matter and you're going to be building that soil. Eventually you'll start getting mushrooms again and, and a real diversity of life. Uh, the, the economic benefit of this project over time is that they can harvest wood off the trees and some of the pines that they put in, one of the species is good for collecting pine resin which becomes a product for the community. There's also some thought of uh, perhaps raising deer here, and that would be a good product as well. So over in here, the trees were planted in 1973. These are pines as well. There's still not a lot of understory here, which means that they probably have had cows in here, and there's a few right now. Uh, so it'd probably be good to get more cows out of these areas and uh, get another understory. So start planting more of uh, you know other kinds of trees that are smaller, perhaps uh, black cherry, hawthorn, there's some oaks in here already, very few. And they've also got about 6,000 maguey plants that they put in, and, and those are reseeding as well. And then they can make a mezcal with those, or pulque. Uh, mezcal is kind of a, a, like tequila, but it's made with a, a agave plant that grows here, as opposed to the blue agave plant that grows better up in uh, Jalisco State.